Duchess Gates' illness highlights Prince Harry's completely trivial and pathetic problems, says royal expert Prince Harry is due to return to the UK alone on Tuesday, where he will spend some time with his father, King Charles, but is not expected to meet his brother, the Prince of Wales, as now is not the time. Prince Harry's return is a celebratory event to mark the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games, but a leading royal expert looks at Prince Harry's perceived dissatisfaction as to why the current situation facing the royal family I pointed out whether it should be included in the former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond told OK. If he doesn't, you could conclude that their relationship is irreparably damaged, but I don't believe that. In a sensible world, Harry would stay with his father at Clarence House, where they could have cozy conversations in the complete privacy and safety that Harry desires. But I'm sure they'll try to meet for more than 30 minutes during the King's post-diagnosis flight visit. But for some reason, that may not happen. Jenny reflects on her estranged brother's plight and says their relationship has been irreparably damaged. As far as William is concerned, the relationship appears to have been irreparably damaged. Previously, Harry was I was a victim looking for an excuse. In some ways, the situation seems to have been completely reversed. These complaints must seem completely trivial to Harry now that he is facing the very real problem of cancer. Catherine and William are involved in a horrible argument. But I don't think they have the will or strength to stand up to someone, even a brother, who has argued with them over an issue that seems pathetic by comparison. William is doing everything he can to protect his wife, but I highly doubt they want to deal with the Harry issue right now. If at all, Prince Harry will remain in the UK until Thursday, when he will fly directly to Nigeria to meet the Duchess of Sussex after receiving an invitation to visit the country. They are expected to meet with military personnel during their trip in conjunction with the Invictus Games. Jenny's comments come as the Mirror reports that although the Duke of Sussex will manage to arrange a meeting with his father when he returns to London, he has no plans to meet his brother and the Prince of Wales is now planning to meet him again. Even if he wanted it, now wasn't the time. This came out after it was reported. A source told the magazine, Prince Harry has privately expressed his desire to sit down with his brother, but now is not the time. A source told the newspaper, Prince Harry has been in regular contact with his father on several occasions and has made no secret of his desire to meet his father whenever possible. He is especially concerned about the king and hopes that the king will be well and that he will be able to meet him as scheduled. Harry is not a bad person but he is not another person to blame for royal disputes. The Duke of Sussex will return to the UK on Wednesday 8th of May to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games. The multidisciplinary sporting event honoring injured servicemen and women Little is known about Prince Harry's return home and his attendance at the service at Street Paul's Cathedral on May 8th but part of his visit will include King Charles and his estranged son. It is reported that this will include a reunion with former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond says the reunion will put everything into perspective for Prince Harry at an incredibly difficult time for the royal family. His problems and illness seem so trivial when you consider that his father and sister-in-law are battling cancer. I think Harry must be feeling quite frustrated. Jenny told OK. In his book, he talked about fond memories of when his family was together, and I'm sure that when he returns to the UK tomorrow, those things are still going on in his mind. I hope you do. When asked if she regretted the souring of relations between Prince Harry and his family, Jenny added, Harry is not a bad person. Always the most popular of the young royals. Right now, there must be a part of him that deeply regrets the rift between him and Meghan he was funny, modern and warm-hearted. William and Catherine. He has no one else to blame. Then the road to making things right becomes difficult or even nearly impossible.
he's here to celebrate the Invictus Games, and that's of course a great achievement. But how shocking to see him in the absence of a single member of the royal family present to acknowledge his achievement. It must be something like that. It would be a vivid example of what he did to the family he still claims to love. Prince Harry will return to the UK on Wednesday 8th of May to attend the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games service at St Paul's Cathedral. Despite the celebration, neither other members of the royal family nor Meghan Markle are expected to attend the occasion. The Mirror reports that the Duke of Sussex plans to somehow arrange a meeting with his father when he returns to London. But is not believed to be meeting his brother, the Prince of Wales, but not at the moment. My brother would have wanted it for some reason, but it's the right time. A source told the magazine, Prince Harry has privately expressed his desire to sit down with his brother, but now is not the time. Prince Harry last met the king for less than 30 minutes at Clarence House in February, when the king's cancer diagnosis was made public. A source told the newspaper, Prince Harry has been in regular contact with his father on several occasions and has made no secret of his desire to see him as much as possible. I hope he can see again, he said. Prince Harry's solo return to the UK will begin on Tuesday, May 7, the day after his son Prince Archie's fifth birthday. It's according to plan. On Thursday, Harry will fly to Nigeria to meet Meghan, and the couple will be staying. It ends with you being invited, 